Good evening everyone and welcome to the ESR, the Elder Sim Racing for the BTCC. This is Season 3 for Round 1 at the glorious, glorious race of the Interlagos track. I am your host with the mouse milk. Hope everyone's all okay and well. We are about to start the qualifying in about a few minutes time. But I'm hoping uh, we just had a bit of a few technical difficulties again on my side. So um, hopefully we'll try and get onto the uh, ESR um, YouTube channel after tonight's race. But hopefully everything will be all sweet throughout the remainder of the season. But it's good to be back after uh, a bit of a, a week break, shall we say. But we had like the team event last week. For the ESR uh, versus the GT, um, sorry, GRTH or whatever it was, uh, it was the Croatian team that was happened last week. But a bit of a recap, guys, for the drivers who have not uh, done it before. Will uh, Sutters, uh, who was the new drivers' championship winner from last season, uh, taking the mantle of Christian, aka. Uh, script drifter but we'll watch the drivers in in about now should we say so let's go to the track hopefully we'll try and slowly build up uh, the qualifying so some of the drivers are building up their opportunity of a lifetime but yeah we've already got into the qualifying we're a little bit a few minutes behind but hopefully we'll try and get a few scenarios as well. We've just got a couple of new drivers actually. Uh, a couple of drivers that have been from the current season last season. And also they've been moved up into from the TCC or the Classic Series um, as well. So from the Mini Classics from last season. So here we go. Can uh, Server EV or Ivan as I call him now. So he's done a qualifying time of 1 minute 32 flat mp motorsport in 132.1 uh edgy has done a 131.9 uh will's done a 130.7 so the drivers championship uh, winner from last season is carried on from where he left off from last season pretty much so he's got himself back up to pole position uh mark thompson has mo in, moved up to fifth with a 133 flat I think it was 133.5, sorry. William, uh, he was one of the new drivers joining the BTCC with a 134.7. So we're going to try and get some of the drivers to come in. Andy, uh, he is in, I don't know, 130.8. So he's moved himself up to second. So ever since last season, Andy has been really, really been impressive. Especially in the team, team event last week. But to be fair though... If he, if he wants to be become the Drivers' Championship elite, shall we say, this is the one where he has to really, really step up and try and beat Will. Because he has to be on his A game. Now, if you're not sure how the BTCC works, guys, I'll do this every week just to make sure that people, make sure everyone understands at each time. We will have three rounds at the same track. Uh, sorry, three three races at the same track so server Ivan has done a 131.6 motorsport is done a 131.5 wills improved side 130.5 uh tom holland the pineapple i haven't spoke to him since uh, the tcc days he's moved up to seventh place uh blue finn as oh where has he gone now blue finn he was moved up there but uh christian did a 131.4 jamie did a 132.2 baldwin did a 131 i believe william who's one of the newcomers he's tried to move up to 134 flat so at the interlagos the brazilian track if you're familiar with the f1 crew uh it's good to be back in the BTCC and it'd be good to see how everyone can try and put on one of their bestest ever laps they ever done to start off the new season. Uh, slow same, uh, Seamus, Seamus or Seamus, I don't know how you pronounce it. He did a 134 flat as well. So, ah, Chubby Boy, how you doing, mate? You all right? This is good evening, mate. Glad the new season has started. I'm glad the season has started. 
Who do you think do you think Will will keep his title or do you think Christian will step up again now to try and get this title back? Or do you think there'll be a random outcome of a different person to uh, to win the title? And that is the big question. I'm just trying to look through the grid. Obviously Baldwin, aka the Banter King, but I have to call him Borat the uh, the the Banter King. I don't know why, but he wants me to call him the uh, Borat the Banter King. Uh, Blue Finn has done a one three three flat. I will get the the names correctly for this season. As you probably know, I my pronunciation of some of the names I do get it completely wrong sometimes. But I'm hoping it doesn't uh, affect anyone there. So obviously Christian is about a second of the leader. But uh, William is still a one three three point eight. There's two Wills, so I'm going to say Will Stut Will Sutters is the the drivers championship leader and the, sorry the drivers championship winner from last season. And also you got um, William, who's one of the new newcomers of the BTCC. And it'd be good to see how the new drivers can emulate what these guys can try to do can they be the new will the new will or the new christian on their head on their head day as well um but that's just one of those things please 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 make sure you like subscribe to elder sim racing channel please guys this is just my youtube channel uh because of the technical issues i've got with the obs uh the obs so but hopefully not but uh christian is a little bit of a swamp here because obviously Bluefin is in 13th place trying to get the slipstream and looks like Surfer and Motorsport are trying to get the slipstream to try and get those extra extra little few tints here and there and uh, Bluefin did a 133.1 so that kind of kind of helped him to move up to 12th place but obviously I just saw that we had 14 drivers so I'm hoping that will keep it consistent throughout the season obviously this this will be the BTCC is one of the challenging leagues uh, to try and get a good lap a good season pretty much. If you mess up in one round, you're not going to get catch up because obviously the way Will's going at the moment, I can't see anyone stop him on his A day. That's the that's what I'm seeing at the moment. What do you think of the stream, guys? Are you enjoying the stream so far? What's your predictions, guys? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think there will be a shock this season? Do you think there will be a shock tonight? Uh, Sarge is in 5th place with... He was moved up to 5th with a 131.5 and he's in previous time a 130.5 so he's, he's in the pole position! Pole position with 1 minute left! Oh my days! Brilliant lap there from Andy! He re I told you he really is up for it! But if Will can try and catch up to these guys to get the slipstream, this will be a massive boost. He needs to try and find somewhere. He's he's losing out by four thousandths of a second. Four thousandths of a second. Where's Will? Will's coming up 30 seconds left. Down the straight. They will have one more chance, Will. Will will have one more chance, but can he try one more chance? He will have to do one more chance. Bluefin's done a 133.0. So I'll tell you what, this is absolutely on the edge of your seat. Jamie's to the 132.1. Bye. So obviously the, the constructors from last season. Uh, Chubby Boy says, I think it will be tied between Will and Christian. Haven't seen the new drivers though. I know it's hard to say. I know it's very, very hard to say because obviously we haven't seen the new drivers and then what their capabilities are in the race. They could be not good in the qualifying, but they could be very very good in the in the court in the race itself that will be um that will be the challenging point as well so christian just laying uh, will out of the way because will needs to try and find some few tests because he will slow down i can't believe this is if andy can get this perfect lap if he can hold it and will i'm still watching from will obviously the core point has stopped now so wherever lap they do now this is it but uh, whoever's in 30, Bluefin, Bluefin needs to try and get out of the way because because now Will is like a tenth. He's a tenth behind and could be about two tenths off the leader. That, that could have lost Will the pole position. 
I might be wrong. I might be wrong. But let's just see how, what he can try and do. Oh, in the last few corner, he needs to try and get the best this ever. Oh, oh no. He has not done it. He has not done it. Surfer on his debut. Uh, Ivan, if that's how you pronounce it, mate. Yeah. What a qualifying lap for him. Fourth place. Brilliant lap. Absolutely fantastic. Um, Andy, who's, uh, again, who's impressing me the most from last season on to this season? So, Andy trying to push on. We're just going to wait for the drivers to finish off their laps. But as things stand, Andy will be the qualifying uh, pole position to start off with at the Interlagos track. Now, I didn't mention about the three ra three races at the track. So, for BTCC. It will be the qualifying to start off with. Then, to start... Then, wherever the results of that race will be the return... Or, well, the reverse grid for race two. Standing. Uh, Evan. Avan? Avan? That's how you pronounce it? Yeah, sorry about that, mate. Hey, here we go. We're about to kick off for the brand new season of race one, of round one, at the Interlagos track. Five lights are going out. Oh! Buggity, buggity, buggity! Let's go racing, boys! Will's had a great start. Will's going to We could have a three in a bed. We could have a three in a bed moment. Will! Will starting on for first place. Andy holds on for second because Baldwin and Mosport had a great... Mosport had a really great start, to be fair. Moved up two places. Ivan is trying to uh, push on massively. So here we go. Can uh, Mosport try to push on? Massively, but look at the back of the grid. It looks like Server, who had, had a bit of a slow start, but Baldwin has had a great opportunity to make the move. And we've got a couple of bows galore behind, and a bit of a penalty from 12th place. I'm not sure who that is at the moment, but Server trying to trying to catch up to these guys. And can I just say the liveries are absolutely amazing. So well, a brilliant job there from. Uh, from Sarge, aka uh, the Hammer Games. Surface going on the inside. Oh, beautiful move. Beautiful move there from uh, Surfer. And he's got a penalty. He's got to get rid of it. Obviously, if you have got penalties during the season, they have got to get rid of it before the start of finishing line straight. So Andy will have to get out of the way for one second. And he'll be swamped. He'll be probably dropped massively down to probably about eighth. The way it's going, he's going to have to, or maybe a bit too much. Well, actually, he's kept it in probably just about one position. I was exaggerating a little bit, but he did lose out two positions to uh, Motorsport and Surfer. But uh, Ryan, Ryan's going around the outside. He was going around the outside, but he was not going to risk it for a biscuit. But fair play, but fair play to Andy, who's like not, not said lost out on that. Uh, by a second, but I thought he might have lost it too much. But Will, who I said he's he's gonna have to try Will sort of to try to push on massively. But I think if you want a if you want a prediction, you need Christian and Mosport and Baldwin to try and ump their their car pretty much to try and challenge Will because I know it's early doors, I know it's early season, but the way it was going last season for uh, Baldwin, I mean Christian was really unlucky last season. I know he had, I know he missed one one round, but that one round is not saying it's cost him the title, but it would have brought closer, and he was closer actually on the last ra last round of the season. But anything to play for, you just can't make any silly mistakes, and that's what I mean. Most bore to uh, carried on from the last from the last round of the season but still holding on to second Surfer on his debut for um, for ESR for the Elder Sim race he's going to try and make the move on on most but most going to try and keep on the inside Surfer will have to go around the outside oh he's trying to, he was thinking about it but but, but uh, I was going to say Baldwin sorry Andy from fourth place trying to push on Andy Andy, don't you dare. I was going to say, don't you dare do this to me. Do not do this to me. Please. Andy. Andy. 
Andy? Andy, if you want to move, do it now. 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 Oh, late breaking move up to, to four. Surf. Oh, brilliant move. Brilliant move there from Andy. Absolutely brilliant move. Oh, what an epic move against Surfer on turn five. So I'll be absolutely fuming. Oh, let's have a look at uh, Christian and Sarge. Christian and Sarge are battling up for seventh place. Yes, the battle for like the top five is absolutely heated up, but obviously Will's uh, pulling away massively. But uh, still, Christian will have to try and push on. But obviously, if they are starting on the mediums, it is the way forward to try and get rid of it quickly. Uh, William is in ninth place. Bluefin is in 10th. Uh, the, the Tom Holland is in 11th. you got uh, Mark Thompson in 12th. Jamie Hillman in 13th. Uh, Slow Seamus or Seamus in 14th place. So Will's pushing away massively. Most sport is pushing away massively as well. And looks like a surfer. I don't know if someone had a penalty, but surfer's made a massive mistake. And it's just brought Ryan into play and moved himself up to fourth. So that's a good move. Good move there from uh, Ryan there. Brilliant stuff. And uh, a battle for seven play still heating up because Christian trying to hit the slipstream. Don't they just wish they had the DRS moment? But. Not with Christian, he's just trying to make the move. Two to bed. We got the two to bed moment. Oh, beautiful move there from Christian. Christian is doing absolutely fantastic stuff. Now he has to push to try and keep up with his uh, with his team. Well, I was going to say his teammate of uh, Baldwin, aka Idol. Sarge trying to make the move. He was trying to think about making the move into the inside, but let's go back to. I was going to say, I'll go have a quick glance at Baldwin because. He is seven tenths off uh, Surfer and he's trying to push on. With the battle galore on. Oh, actually. I know I keep swap, swapping now and again. We've got a three car battle for eight, uh, for ninth place. We're still a battle between seven and eight between Christian and Sarge. So, that, to be fair, though, Sarge, aka the admin of ESR, um, of the whole of ESR. He has been. Uh, he, he has stepped up gear in in a few of the races where he should have. He should have like pretty much won the races, but not where he wanted to be. But again, it could be the, the tire wear. Could be anything. Anything could trigger it. And it looks like they've oh, so I just had a bit of a a back end moment. Bluefin moves up to eight. I will get your name properly, mate. I know I've I've, I've commented with you before, but I can't remember it now. Uh, we got uh, William in 10th, trying to make the move on Bluefin for ninth place. It's trying to get the slipstream on to uh, turn four. Oh, William! William's trying to make the late breaking, but Bluefin's saying, Well, there you go, mate. Your late breaking has, uh, has made it perfect for me. So I'll bounce back, do the old switcheroo, and move up to ninth place back. So fantastic stuff. But uh, let's. Go back through the grid again. So we've got Will, who's in, coming up to the end of the second sector at the Interlagos track. you got MP Motorsport in second place. You've got uh, Ryan is in third place. You've got uh, uh, Avan. Avan? Avan, if I pronounce it, is in, or Surf, I'm going to call him, in fourth. You've got uh, Idol, aka Baldwin, in fifth. You've got uh, Christian in sixth. Oh my god, we could have a three. Oh no, Christian's made the. Oh my god, Christian could lose out. Oh my god, come on, we want the three to bed. We want the three to bed moments. Come on, come on, we want the three to bed. Can Christian get back up to sixth place? He's getting the slipstream off of Andy, and he's meant back up to fifth, but will Andy stuck back up to fifth? Christian's just keeping it. Fair play, fair play to these drivers. Oh my god, this is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is on the edge of my seat moment. And Christian, Sarge is keeping up with these guys. They lost out. Andy, who's just lost out to six players for just a brief moment, keeps himself back up to six. So, fair play. Fair, fair, respectful driving from these guys. 
as well. Let's. I'm just gonna have a quick glance at some of the drivers bailing up. Uh, oh, sorry. We got uh, we got William and uh, Tom Holland, who obviously Tom Holland moves up to uh, from obviously from the TCC uh, League last season of the Mini Classic series. So. Obviously, on his day, he was very quick. He was very quick, but obviously, BTCC is a whole new level. It's like the Premier League. It's like the top flight division. Try me. But it'll be good to see how Tom Holland can try and push up. At the moment, he's in 10th out of 14 drivers. He'll have, if he wants to try and emulate. Oh my god, oh my god. Most more is catching Will up massively. So Will, who thought that he was going to try and run away of this round of this race one, he's saying, "Well, this ain't going to happen." Most most people say, "I, I ain't going to get this happening," and he's got a penalty. Will has got a penalty. He's going to, have to get rid of it soon. Hopefully, he'll try and late break to try and get rid of that penalty as much as possible. But doesn't look like it. Ah, good evening, to you, Alex. How you doing, mate? You're right. Hope you came well. Yeah, it's pleased to pleased to be back so soon yes i'm glad you're back and uh, i'd like to hear your thoughts of the race and uh, overall the season what do you think's gonna happen obviously triple boy saying it'll be tight between will and christian obviously he hasn't seen the new drivers i haven't seen the new drivers which are surfer you got uh, obviously william you got we got two wills we've got will sutters and you got william i'm gonna keep saying it to him but then also you got uh, obviously, a couple of drivers that have moved up. Obviously, uh, John John Riley will be joining us. Um, I'm hoping he will be joining us soon. I'm, I hope so, anyway. But if not, it will be good to see him back in at the BTCC days. Oh, my days. We've got... Well, it, most more was close to Will, but all of a sudden, it's not, that's never going to happen. We've got a two in a bed. we got two two in a bed moments. Come on. Ryan's trying to really push... A great start to this uh, BTCC career for season three. Can Ryan try and make the move around the outside? Same with Baldwin and Andy. Has Andy kept fifth? Yes, he has. Uh, Ryan still stuck with fourth. Surfer trying to push on from there. It's just absolutely unbelievable stuff. But here we go again. Ryan trying to make the move around the outside at turn four. No, 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 no. No, he does not make the move. He does not make the move. Alex says, I'm good yourself. I am very well, thank you. Good to be back in the uh, the BTCC days. Oh, Ryan. Ryan's going to... You cannot do two in a bed up the hill section as well. You cannot do that. But prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Because we want to see so many bars galore. Obviously, Will's got the fastest lap of the race. We're 130.635. This has been a great start of the Season 3 opener. And uh, hopefully we'll try and emulate this season. So here we go. Can uh, Ryan try and make the move? on server but Andy wants to get back to third after he had that brilliant qualifying start he's just lost a few positions during the race Baldwin's trying to catch up to these guys they've got one more lap left guys they have got one more lap left final lap for these guys server defending for all his might I don't know if there was any contact between Ryan and server they're going to side but we're Andy oh my god Andy Andy Andy, don't you dare do this to me. Andy's going to make two moves. He made two moves with him. One. No, he's made one move. He made one move. But can he make another move? Against Surfer. He does. Just at the nick of time. But will Surfer bounce back? Surfer will not bounce back. But try and defend against Ryan. Absolutely brilliant race. And obviously I don't want to jump to uh, first place at the moment because these guys are battling out massively Ryan trying to push on and then you got uh, you got Surfer in fourth you got uh, Andy in third as well so Andy trying to hold on 
as well. But uh, Will's coming up to the final few corners now. So we will catch, uh, catch him in a moment too. Oh, my days, Ryan and Servo. Bit of wheel banging moment. Coming up to the final few corners. But Will, he has started from where he left off. And he has carried on as the Drivers' Championship uh, winner from last season. Starting off with a, brand, with a bang in first place. Motorsport is in second. Andy in third. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We could have a final finish for fourth. Oh, my God. This Ryan just made it just, just about for fourth. Surf on his debut in fifth. Brilliant race from him. Uh, Boulder in sixth. Christian in seventh. Needs to try and get a good start in the next few races. That's what he needs to do. Uh, Bluefin is in eighth. Sarge is in ninth. Jamie in tenth. William is in 11th. Mark Thompson is in 12th. Uh, to, uh, the pineapple, Tom Allen in 13th. Slow Seamus is in 14th place. So congratulations to Will Sutters for uh, winning the, uh, the first race of round one of the BTCC. But we will come back of the qualifying. Well, not of the qualifying, sorry. We will be doing uh, race two just in about a few minutes time but this race obviously the be esr is in heaven oh heaven oh, okay shameless sorry there you go i am trying my hardest sorry i really am trying my hardest with pronunciations but uh shameless 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 there we go shameless i am so sorry and i will say sorry to uh, <laughs> To uh, heaven, uh, heaven, or he heaven, and pronounce it there. Heaven. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I do apologise for that. But uh, it, once all the race, once all the races get their proper start, we will try and get uh, scenarios galore. But we're just waiting for race two. I'm hoping we will have a few minutes. It's a great success. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, fair play. Alex says, there's a surprise. Will won. Yeah, there is an absolute surprise, to be fair. But uh, let's just see if he can try and keep that momentous going. If he can do that, that will be immense stuff. We'll have to wait and see how it all plans out. But we will come back in about a few minutes' time. Drop the H from it. Even. 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 There we go. Even. Even. There you go. Okay. <laughs> You'll be laughing your head soft, guys. I'm try I really am trying to pronounce it. Um. <laughs> Seamus is going to be absolutely fuming at me um, afterwards and also uh, Amen. so yeah uh, for the guys that are starting off on the uh, medium tyres from race 1 they can no longer use them they can use race 2 and 3 for the super softs the guys will not start on the softs at all it will be super softs or mediums so here we go can can Will, from start at the back of the grid, to try and push on. So, obviously, uh, Seamus is going to be starting on the grid, because this will be the reverse grid of race one. So, this is where, this is where drivers that can win tiles produce the goods. If you win the race, obviously you've got to work so hard to get yourself back up to first place and try and push on. That will be the that'll be the most challenging one, and will produce it massively. But in order, the problem is obviously with Christian. I really do want Christian and Baldwin and you know all the others battling out to get to stop the domination of Will. That's the aim because at the moment I can't. I mean, Motorsport was getting closer and closer to Will, but I don't know what happened near the end of the race. But those, t uh, the only one I could see that could really challenge Will is Motorsport. 
MP Motorsport. I will get the drivers' names properly. Uh, just bear with me a sec, guys. I will get the list up, ready to go. So, obviously, with new drivers... So, let's get the... So, obviously, the BTCC is sponsored by... Um, BT, sorry, the ESR BTCC is sponsored by Shell Lawman Motorsport, so make sure you follow, like, follow on um, the Facebook page, as well as Elder Sim Racing on the Facebook, as well as YouTube channel. This is just my actual YouTube local channel, just obviously because of the uh, the OBS side. I'm not sure why it's not working on on the ESR side. We'll have to check. As well, so Seamus trying to reverse back into the, <laughs> the starting to try and practice as well. So a surfer says, Phew, thank you. It, and B was absolutely delighted to finish in fourth place. So obviously, you got Baldwin, which is ESR idol, you got uh, Ryan Edge, Edgy, you got uh, Grant, that was it. Uh, Blue Finn was Grant, you got uh, Jamie. Obviously, Jamie Hillman. You got uh, Tom Holland, which is the pineapple head. Uh, you got John Lane. I don't know if he's racing. I doubt. I haven't seen him race tonight. You got Surfer. Uh, Evan. Uh, no, eh, Evan. Evan. So, um, obviously, you got the Surfer EV. Now, I've been warned not to mention EV, as in <laughs> uh, a different type of EV, but it's not. That EV as well. So, uh, so hopefully we'll start uh, the race in about probably about a minute or two. So you got uh, Potter, which is uh, MP Motorsport. John Riley, he, I know he's not there. Uh, she Seamus, Seamus. You got there, and you got uh, Sergeant with the Hammer Games. You got Will Sutters. You got Christian in Scrape Drifter. You got Mark Thompson, which is Michael Mark, and Andy, which is Big Ian eighty six. School Surf Tom or something easy. Yeah, that's fine. I tell you what, I'm going to call him Surf Tom. That's better. Something easy. So Surf Tom will about to try, and if you can try and emulate what he did earlier on, that'll be uh, a good start. Can't. How about you, Seamus? Uh, how do you think you'll do from the back of the grid? Do you think you'll try... Uh, sorry, from the start of the grid, sorry. Do you think you've got a good chance of trying to keep there? Or do you think uh, top eight finish would be good? Well, I wish everyone all the very best of luck for race two. So, race two will start off. I'm just waiting for that to load up and ready to go. So if you just missed race one, Will carried on from where he left off last season to win race one. This is race two, uh, Paddy. Here comes storm one. So we've got uh, four lights, five red lights, and we are... Let's go racing, boy! Seamus had a bit of a slow start from the back of the game. Oh my days, Tom Holland and Michael Mark had a bit of a moment there at turn one. And William is trying to hold on for third. Seamus is moving to fourth. So that's absolutely unbelievable start for Michael Mark and uh, Mark Thompson as well. Fair play to him. He's trying to hold on for first on the on, on bow of Tom Holland, who's. Uh, Obviously, he had a struggling start to the BTC. Hey! Oh, William! William! Three in the bed! We had the three in the bed moment! And Tom Holland's made it up to, to first place. Oh, beautiful move! What a move there! But unfortunately for Michael Mark, he's got a bit of a penalty which he needs to get rid of as quickly as possible. But he's absolutely swamped in the middle of the pack. But Seamus, holding on for third, doing a brilliant job. But Mosmoor moves up to 8th from uh, the back, well, near the back of the grid from 13th. So he's done about. Oh, but no, it's Tom Holland! 
Oh, and Tom Holland has spun. Tom Holland has spun. I'm not sure exactly what happened. But we'll have to have a look at that in that uh, camera view later on. If we've got time. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, Motorsport, try and make the move. Like a bonsai moment. But Mark. Oh, my God. Mark. Motorsport. And Will. Three to bed. we got a three to bed, Mark. Oh, this is, don't you dare do this to me, please. Will's been up to six. Motorsport. Uh, in seventh place. Oh my god. Oh my god. We could have five cars. Five <laughs> five in a bed. That's never going to happen. Four in a bed. But very, very rare. But I tell you what. Will's holding on for six. A bit of a wheel baggy between himself and Potter as well. Four, seventh place. Uh, I'm not sure he went off track. Pineapple went, so, uh, it's dropped down to tenth after what happened in uh, the second. I think it was uh, turn 10, I think it was. So you have to try and bounce back. It's a shame for Tom Holland because he was doing a brilliant start. Uh, Christian from 9th place. Well, he was from 9th, but he's just dropped down to 10th. But what a start. William holding on for first. You've got Seamus. Jamie in 2nd place. Seamus moves up to 2nd place. Oh, my God. We've got about four cars. My head is spinning. Because Seamus is trying to hold on. The Irishman. I always call Scott Fenton the Irishman. But he's technically now. Seamus is the Irishman. Officially now. In uh, this season of BTCC. Unless. Unless uh, Scott Fenton comes back. And he'll be the original. The, the original Irishman. Uh, we've got uh, Jamie and Sarge. Battling out fourth. Uh, third, fourth place. Jamie move on to third. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bluefin. 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 Try and make the move on the round the outside. William trying to hold on the inside. Seamus trying to make the move round the outside moment. And we had a three to bed. We just had the three to bed on the back of the grid between seventh, eighth, and ninth between Will Mosball and Mark Thompson. That was the bestest ever three to beds I have ever seen. But the, the race is so close. It's just absolutely unbelievable stuff. And we got uh, William going off track a little bit. That might give him a penalty. But hopefully not. I'm hoping not. But he's still trying to keep on. I think he has got a penalty. He has. I, I was worried. Bluefield is having a bit of contact. But we've got five cars. Oh my god. We've got five cars. And Will's chasing the top five here. And Will, William, William holding on for first. Needs to get rid of that penalty as quickly as possible. It looks like Seamus and Bluefin battling out onto the head. The, the Klaus is helping. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is, oh my, this is unbelievable stuff. Bluefin trying to make the move. And he made the move perfectly against Seamus earlier on. Well, I say earlier on, just the last few la a few corners. But now he's on charge to try and could be the new leader. Go try to get the slipstream off. Uh, Ryan has left the room. I'm not sure if he'll try and get back. But uh, yeah, like I said, uh, William, who had a great, great drive up to lap, up to lap three. Uh, sorry, up to lap four. He's gonna have to work, get himself worked up now because now Will's moved up to fifth. Sarge holding on for first, but the battle for first is just absolutely immense. Bluefin trying to hold on. Seamus will try and make the move. No. Try and be absolutely patient. But the battle for like third, fourth, and fifth is absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. I think Ryan had a bit of a moment there. And looks like Bluefin's got a penalty, so you'll need to get rid of it. But will. Starting from where he left off again, pushing on massively to try and make the moves into fit into fourth place. Sarge, 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 come on! If you really want to challenge Will for the title, this is the moment that you need to be. Uh, a bit of contact between seven and eight looks like uh, Motorsport and William for seven and eight. But this has been a brilliant start of the BTCC. 
So now, William, who had the penalty on lap four, it's going to be vice versa to Bluefin now, who will have to get rid of that penalty, which is now bring Seamus into play. Yeah, I was going to say, Bluefin will try and get rid of that penalty beforehand, but he might lose out a couple of positions. Baldwin has gone into the pits. Baldwin has gone into the pits. So uh, Sergeant try and challenge Will, who's back up to third place. And he's done a magnificent job again. So Will's trying to uh, try and push on massively. But Sergeant tr will not give up this position. Try and make the move on the inside. A bit of contact. There's a bit of contact, but still in co in uh, intact with the track on the track itself. But that battle for... Ooh. Don't know, what's that? Sixth and seventh. Looks like uh, Motorsport and William banging up for sixth and seventh. I will try and have a look at the back of the grid because we haven't seen much of that recently. But I, I wanted to get back to that uh, the, the replay of that incident with Tom Holland, okay, the um, at the pineapple head because he he was in a good position up to where we are now, where he's got spun. I don't know if he got hit or what, or what. I don't know, but we'll have to have a look. In a moment or two, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to watch the replays because that, as things stand, I can't watch the replays because everyone's all closed up and bunched up together. So Will trying to push on, trying to make the move on. Jamie Hillman in uh, second place, trying to push on. The, oh, is he going back into the pits? Yeah, Jamie's going into the pits. It looks like Blue Finish going to the pits. Sarge. Trying to make the move on the inside. No, he's trying to be absolutely patient enough. But uh, William trying to make the move. And he lost a bit of his uh, breaking point. Which has now brought, dropped him right down to fifth place. And Baldwin, I'm not sure what's happened to him. But Baldwin has made a mistake. Or there's been contact. I don't know. But I'm hoping he'll bounce back as quickly as possible. But the battle for first will... Can Will emulate what he did earlier on and push on into um, into second place? This is the most unbelievable racing we have ever seen. We've got uh, Seamus who on his uh, debut for uh, BTCC tonight. On his second race overall, he is in first place. But he's got the onslaught of Sarge and William. Uh, sorry, Sarge and Will Sutter's. In second and third, respectively. But Seamus will be. Uh, the Irishman trying to hold on for first, but here we go. He's got to defend for all his might. He'd be thinking, where am I going to get? Try and defend for the next four laps against the onslaught of Will and Sarge for first place. I I would not even know what to do. I will not even know what to do. I think Seamus is saying, look, I'm not going to get quick. I'm trying to keep around the outside. Keep on the racing line. Oh, my God. We could have a three to bed. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, my days. Will, what a move. What a move. Brilliant move there. Fantastic. But Seamus, Seamus is the Irishman trying to make the move. Back up to first. Where did that come from? I was rooting, look, so we'll confirm that, that move, but then all of a sudden, no, mate, I, I, I'm not going to have too much Guinness until after this race, because I want to get back into first. Will's trying to go on the inside, but Seamus is trying to defend, and keeping defending really well on the corners where people would make the overtakes galore, but still, Will and Sarge trying to do what they do best and try and challenge for uh, first. Or oh, bit of contact there between Will and Seamus, but Seamus holding on for first. I was going to say, if Will went ahead uh, and Seamus did uh, spun off, he would have had to wait, to be fair, because that would have been respectful. That would have been, um, you would respect, obviously, trying to uh, wait for someone, but Looks like Will will get back into first place. Seamus try and keep around the outside, try and avoid the slipstream. But Sarge, Sarge, Sarge. Oh my god, we've got another three to bed. We've got another three to bed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 
got two to bed now. They got the two to bed of uh, Will and Sarge. But Sarge, 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 come on. Oh, come on, Sarge. You know you want to get back up to first. You know you want that win because you desperately need that last season. But with Seamus trying to bounce back after what he did earlier on to Will. Oh, my God. Trouble Boy says, this season really isn't holding back. I know. I know, but the starts. Like the, the race in itself, it's been really close. Obviously, the end result, it's like it's like the Mercedes of F1, but you just never know the shock. And when the shock comes, you never know when that day will be. But fair play to to Will to keep that momentum going and trying to pull away from Sergeant and Seamus, who had a great battle for the lead. Great battle. It looks like. Uh, Jamie trying to bail it out with, I think they're pulling away massively, but it looks like Christian and Bluefin bailing out for 7 and 8. Bluefin trying to make the move and looks like uh, William and Jamie holding on for 5th and 6th place. I'm trying to swap between the two positions. 2 in a bed, we've got a 2 in a bed, we've got a 2 in a bed moment. And uh, Jamie will have to try and keep on the inside. William try and go around the outside and moves up to fifth place at the moment. But will Jamie try and go the late break in? Who will hold on? Same with uh, Bluefin and Christian. Bluefin moves back up to seventh place. C uh, Jamie drops down to six again. William backs up to fifth. Again, f four of these drivers battling out for a two two in the bed moment. And it's been brilliant. Brilliant racing. Oh my days, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie's made, oh my god, a bit of contact there between Jamie, oh my god, Jamie and uh, Bluefin, there's a bit of a car yeah, clash there as well, it looks like William trying to defend on the inside, Christian try and bounce back into the inside line, Bluefin, bit of contact, but still holding on, still holding on for fifth, we're on the final lap, we're on the final lap of this race, Where's this race come? Where's this race gone? It's been that quick. I'm trying to think where Will is now, but uh, oh my God! Come on, come on, come on! We what? There's been ca cars galore, cars galore at the manic straights of the Interlagos track. Bluefin will be swamped at the start. Well, at the straight line speed. And uh, looks like Seamus back up to second. Will Sarge back up to second. But congratulations to Will for finishing uh, the second race of the season. It looks like Sarge just got ahead uh, to get rid of that penalty. It looks like, oh my god, Bluefin! Bluefin and Christian are going side by side for fifth place. But Bluefin holding on for fifth. Christian finishes in sixth. William finishes in seventh. Jamie finishes in eighth. Uh, Surfer Tom is in ninth. The pineapple head of Tom Holland in 10th. But uh, Baldwin in 11th. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to read. I forgot to save the replay of the first race. But, but congratulations to uh, two races on the bounce again. So fair play. I will try and go back on to the race. So let's go back onto the results because we didn't see much on the bottom half. Uh, so Will finishing in first place again in the second race of the tonight's uh, BTCC, sponsored by Shell Lawman Motorsports. You got uh, Slow Seamus on his debut finishing in second. Brilliant stuff from him. You got uh, Sarge in third. You got uh, Potter, I think it is, in fourth, aka Motorsport. You got uh, Bluefin in fifth. Uh, Christian in 6th William is in 7th you got uh, Jamie in 8th you got Surfer Tom in ninth. you got the Pineapple Head aka Tom Holland in 10th Baldwin in 11th Mark Thompson in 12th and Andy in 13th place which Andy will start off will start off for um, will start off in 1st so normally 
for the guys that I normally do the interviews during this, but because it's the first race of the season, I'm not going to put under a lot of pressure on, on some of the guys. So we're just going to go, hopefully, in the next few minutes, we're going to go straight to the race. But normally we'll have the interviews at, um, at this point in stage for like between second race and third race to hear everyone's thoughts overall but just a bit of a recap we will not have any interviews we will not have any interviews during tonight's race but can I get the replay back ah oh, damn it oh what happened there oh changing What do you think of the racing so far? Surf, uh, Surfer Tom says, Blimey, can I breathe that? Yeah, you've got, you've got about a few minutes left, though, to have... Uh, <laughs> so we're just waiting for uh, the drivers to slowly come in to, uh, to start off the last race of round one. Obviously, with BTCC, we will have a rolling start grid. Rolling start. So, um, yeah, so... So, hopefully, we'll try and see if... I want Tom Holland to do well, actually. I want Tom Holland to do well. To be fair, I want everyone to do well. Because, obviously, Will just won two races in a row. That run needs to stop. That run needs to stop each time. You've got like some of the drivers who are capable of winning races, but it just it's just the pressure, and also people. Obviously, you got you got to think logically as well as tactically to try and make the moves. But obviously, some of the drivers who have gone for the super softs in the first two races already, they will have to start on the mediums. Either way, but yeah, it's been. What do you think of the racing? If you like what you see so far, guys, please make sure you like subscribe to Elder Sim Racing Channel for all the live races. This is just a temporary uh, race at my YouTube channel on WWFC 2009. You can like and subscribe to my channel if you would like to, in case we do have any more problems with uh, connecting to ESR YouTube. But we will upload those videos onto there very soon. But still. But so much. There's so much talking point. There's, you've got the newcomers balling out. You've got the drivers trying to emulate what they did earlier on. Like trying to push on. Will aim. Will is. Will Sutters is Will Sutters. He's the drivers championship winner. From last season, obviously with Christian and Baldwin, who had um, the constructors last season, and Mark Thompson. I totally forgot, and I totally apologise to Mark Thompson, but uh, he did win the Independent Drivers Championship, which I forgot to mention as well last se last season, which um, I was absolutely fuming at myself. So I want to say congratulations to Mark Thompson as well for his Independent Ch Drivers Championship win this uh, last season and he did a magnificent job considering with everything on the odds as well but with the, obviously with BTCC you can have the drivers championship which is just a sole championship you've got the constructors which is the teammates if you want to if you wanted to join but then you also got the independent dri drivers um, buying out for um, and then the independent construct independent constructors separately so you've got about three, three to four, uh, three to four titles that could be played out for massively, but uh, I'm just reading some of the comments. It was like, to be fair though, Will and Sarge, aka the Hammer Games, they had a great battle. They had really, really had a great battle. But to be fair though, Seamus who, uh, Seamus, Seamus, uh, I have to sound it in a uh, posh, a uh, Scottish voice over there. Um, hopefully it won't be any problems at all for any of these drivers. 
hopefully with Andy in uh, third place trying to get a good start and he needs to because he has impressed me in the qualifying but he's not trying to push on from the qualifying style. So race three will kick off in about a few se a few seconds time. So we just wait for the drivers to come in. I do apologise if I get the the stats wrong. Chubby. So let's see what happens here. We're going to have the rolling start. So Ryan will start at the back of the grid. I do apologise, he did come back actually after he had that disconnection. So here we go. Can we see? And we've got three, two, one. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys. We have to wait and see how Andy can try and emulate to try and get into that first win of the season. Uh, Ryan, try and push on. So the battle between fourth and fifth. With Boulder in the third, this should be a great opportunity of a lifetime. Ryan trying to hold on for first by the looks of things, but the battle between third, fourth, and fifth. Oh my god, who's that? What a move! Tom Owen, what a move there against Mark Thompson. Tom Owen, out of nowhere, made a brilliant move. I'm going to have to replay that again because that was just a cracker of a move from Tom Owen. But it was a shame I couldn't replay the what happened to Tom Owen. Oh my god, two in the bed. We've got a two in the bed. Mark! Mark! Come on! Oh, Tom Holland's just doing the old switcheroo again. Brilliant stuff. Christian moves up to 8th. No, Bluefin moves up to 8th again. Christian will go onto the grass. I don't know if he's cost him dearly, but obviously with the drivers trying to push on. Someone's just got a penalty. It looks like Andy's got a penalty. Ah, he's going to have to be careful. Tom Holland's really pushing for it. His back end is loose massively. He's going to hit the grass. And he's going to have to try and get rid of it. Bolden will go back up to second. And challenge Ryan for first. Uh, looks like Andy's going to try to give enough room. But Andy will probably hold on for third. Yeah, he'll probably hold on for third. Just about. Yeah, just about. It looks like Mark! Mark! Oh my god! Mark Thompson a bit of a late breaking mode as well. It looks like William in six. Oh my gosh, Mark Thompson struggling. Mark Thompson struggling. Surfer, surfer, struggling around the outside. We got four in the bed. We got the four in the bed. Oh my god, we had the four in the bed moment. Four cars at one straight line speed. That is mad. That is mad. Oh no. Oh my god, what happened? Did, uh, oh, Jamie, was that Jamie that lost it? Mark dropped down to 12th. He had a bit of a penalty. Will stuck on 11th. It looks like Ryan is holding on for first. Baldwin could have an opportunity to win the race this season. His first race of the season. Andy in third. Tom Holland in fourth. You got William in fifth on his debut. Surfer Tom in sixth. Another newcomer. Christian in seven. Bluefin. Oh my days. Look at this. I quite want to watch this battle actually. Uh, Bluefin in eighth. Uh, Potter, I think it was, in ninth. You got Will in tenth. You got Sarge in eleven. Seamus in twelfth as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Will. Will. Will moves up to ninth. Will moves up to ninth against uh, Potter. There goes Sarbus idea. We're going to side side two in the bed. We've got a two in the bed. Marwan could have a three if Sarge make the move. Looks like... Who's that in 13th? It looks like uh, Jamie and Seamus were banging out for 11th... Uh, sorry, for 12th and 13th place. Will we'll have to try and defend against uh, the ongoing slaughter of Mosport. 
in 10th place. And we'll try and go on the inside. And he keeps it in ninth. Uh, who's that? That's Bluefin. Drops down to 8th. But look at this. Battling out between Surfer and William. The two newcomers on the BTCC. They're doing really well to be fair. On their debut. And I don't blame them. You want to try and get a good start to, to the season. And considering you're beating against some of the drivers who have been here from season 1. I know it's only early doors in season three, but it's just it's just a nice boost for these guys to try and emulate it. So Surfer, Surfer, try and make the move on Tom Holland for fourth. Oh my days, uh, Tom Holland had a bit of a, a moment of his car, and because of that, he's lost he's lost fourth place and drops down to seventh now because because William moves up to sixth. William moves up to sixth. As no, the Tom Holland moves up to six. Christian holding on for seven. We've got two in a bed. We've got two, two in a bed moments. Will, will I can't say it. Sar, uh, Surfer trying to hold on for fourth. William trying to go on the slipstream from uh, fifth place. But this has been a brilliant start to the season. Uh, Christian makes the moves into six. But will Christian make another move? You have to do a little bit of late breaking moment. Can he make three moves within one? No, he's trying to buy this time. If he does, this will be absolutely epic. Uh, Baldy's dropped down to third now. Andy's dropped down. Sorry, Andy moves up to second. But Surfer holding on for fourth. And he'll be absolutely sweating. He'll be absolutely pouring with sweat. Same with William. And Christian trying to push on. I do feel sorry for Christian because... Christian needs to have a good start this season. He really needed to have a good start. But now he's battling out with Will uh, for for sixth place, and he really needs to get another good start next season. Uh, sorry, next race. Uh, Christian moves up to fifth now. He's heard me. He's heard me, and now he's made the move. He's saying, "Look, okay, okay, Mark, I'm going to make the move." But uh, MP Motorsports got a penalty. And William has got a penalty as well. Uh, who's that in 8th and 9th? 8th and 9th is Will. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We've got a three car battle. For 5th place. Uh, sorry, for 6th place. Looks like Tom Holland holding on for 6th. Bluefin holding on for 7th. William. Uh, sorry. Will Sutter's in 8th place. I'm going to have to say Will won. In World 2 for, um, <laughs> for co-names as well. So we got uh, Tom on. We'll have to get rid of that penalty. He's just got a bit of a penalty of five tenths. He's going to, yeah, he's, he's trying to get rid of it. It's pretty, oh my days, he's tried to get rid of it, but he had a little bit of contact between William, uh, between Will Sutters and uh, and himself, pine, the pineapple head. But uh, Will Sutters moves up to six, so he's done a, a crack of a start again. So uh, I'm going to go back to the first place because it's all bunched up now. We've got about five laps remaining here, guys, for the final race. Five laps remain. Who will try and get the first win? Uh, MP Motorsport has left the session. Hopefully he'll bounce back. But Ryan holding on for first. Andy, Andy, who should have carried on from uh, the first race to try and beat Will. In the first race. Now he's got the opportunity to try and get the slipstream off Ryan here for first place. And here we go. Can you go around the outside? No, he's struggling. I think he's struggling to make the move. Oh no, he's, he's proved me wrong. He's proved me wrong. And he's saying, Well, mate, I just heard you. I'm going to go for it. And Ryan must have made a massive mistake. Massive, massive mistake. Oh. So, uh, and also Ryan is struggling. Oh! Baldwin! Baldwin's made the move into first two moves in one. Oh, brilliant move! Absolutely brilliant move there from Baldwin. He must have heard the. He's a cake fanatic. He's absolutely loves sweets. He must have. I don't know. He's just trying to. Oomph. 
his way back into first. And he does that. A brilliant move, to be fair. Absolutely brilliant move. Will and Christian, the two rivals of the Drivers' Championship from last season, is now battling up between 5th and 6th. But Will going to go around the outside. So Christian trying to uh, push on massively against Will, who's trying to get that... Uh, He's trying to get that sip stream off Christian. Christian is not going to be loving this at all because we'll try and pounce at every single moment in time. And we'll try to think about making the move. Late breaking move. That could cost him. No, he doesn't. Luckily, he's very lucky, Will. He's been very, very lucky to hold on to, uh, f to late breaking there of fifth. Oh my days. Sarge and William battling out for seventh place. Oh my god, Sarge is going to try and make the move on the inside. William still holding on with that late breaking move. Uh, Jamie and Seamus battling out for eight, uh, for ninth and tenth. Sarge! Brilliant move! Brilliant move against William JL uh, in for seventh place. So as things stand, Andy is in first place. Baldwin is Baldwin was in first place. He's dropped down to second place. Uh, Ryan in third. You got Surfer Tom. I call him now. In fourth, Will Sutters is in fifth. You got uh, Christian in sixth. You've got the battle between William J uh, in seventh, Sarge in eighth, Jamie in ninth as well. And also got Seamus and Blue Finn, the five car battle for seventh place. I tell you what, this 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 round has been absolutely nuts, absolutely nuts. But here we go, can Sarge try and make the move on uh, on William? Get the slip three. Jamie's trying to get the slip three. If he can make two moves, we win one. Three to bed. We've got the three to bed. Three to bed moment. I, I can't see. I can't see Sarge. Sarge back up to 7th, oh brilliant move, it looks like, I think, Jamie late breaking, I think Jamie went down to 11th I think, oh no sorry, 12th I do apologise, Mark Thompson in 13th, we're on the penultimate lap, Andy and Baldwin, two drivers who've been here last season in the BTCC, they want to try and uh, produce the goods. Baldwin making the move on the outside. And as you can see from the back of the grid, there was about a three car battle. For, I think that was might be for fifth. No, that was for sixth, seventh and eighth. But I, I, I really don't want to lose this battle between first and second because Andy and Baldwin, they want to get this first win out of the way because in case if Will runs away with it this season, which I can't... <laughs> I can't see anyone catching him up in the first two races. That's what I'm seeing. And what I haven't seen yet is the hat trick. I probably have seen it, but not for a very long time. To get the hat trick of wins in in a, in a round, pretty much. Uh, Baldwin, Baldwin to the bed on the final lap now. Baldwin's going to make the move. But Andy keeping him first. Baldwin, Andy trying to lock break on turn one coming up through the center s's but still Baldwin needs to try and push this is the this could be this could be a fanatic ending which we had, did had a photo finish on the last on the I think it was on the first race or the third race of the first round and it was absolutely immense we've got Ryan who could still play play his cards right but with Baldwin doing everything he can to try and make the move. He's trying to get past Andy. But he does not know what to do. But he's got to be careful because obviously... Probably because you've got Ryan who's trying behind, trying to make the move. And because of Baldwin trying to take the opportunity of a lifetime. This is an absolute belter. Come on, we want to see a photo finish. This would be mad. Uh, Will Sutter's moves up to 4th, 
bit too late to catch up to these guys, I think. Andy struggled. Andy struggling. Andy struggling. Bolding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Andy on the final lap. Will he try and make them hold on for first? Or will Bolden make the last ditch move? And he's trying to get closer to him. But I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's enough. Andy will win. Third race of the round one. Of. Oh my god. Of the. <laughs> the BTCC. Oh my god. Brilliant race. Brilliant, brilliant racing. Baldwin finishes in second. Ryan finishes in third. Will finishes in fourth. So he'll be the driver's championship leader after tonight. Surfer on his debut. Brilliant drive from him tonight, to be fair. Fair play. Christian in sixth. Uh, Bluefin in seventh. I don't know. Okay race uh, from, from the others as well. But uh, well done to Andy. Of his first win of the season. But still. I know, it's, I know there's lots of rounds to go for. I know there's eight rounds of uh, the BTCC. Alex says great racing as always. There's always been great racing. But uh, I tell you what. This, uh, this was improved massively. And I will say this on stream. It was improved massively from these guys. And uh, congratulations to uh, Will. Will be the, uh, the new Drivers' Championship leader. Uh, after tonight from these points of finishing two first and a fourth. But obviously with Andy winning his first race of the season. That's, that was a good race. Baldwin, I thought he'd do enough to win his first race of the season. But did not do enough. He did not do enough. But overall guys, we will be back for round two. I'm hoping we'll be back on the ESR channel. If not, I will upload it back again for my channel. But... Overall, guys, I'd like to say thank you very much for uh, brilliant uh, racing from everyone. And uh, I wish you all a very good night. I'll see you all next week. Take care of yourselves, guys. But for the final time, can you please, please, please make sure you like subscribe to the Elder Sim Racing channel on the YouTube uh, for all the live races as well. Fantastic stuff. Cheers for that, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.